what could be good news for some allergy patients, a new study finds certain tests for tree nut allergies may actually not be accurate. And that could mean that fewer people actually could have these allergies, others could be overdiagnosed. Let's get right to our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi. All right, doctor, what are we talking about here? Which tests are we talking about? So Jen, pretty interesting. A tree nut allergy is suspected. You're often given a blood or a skin prick test. Now, the test, the accuracy of these researchers from the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology had 109 patients with one tree nut allergy take these tests. The results showed something surprising. The allergy sensitivities, researchers had everyone take an oral food challenge and only 50% of the participants had no reactions. Now their conclusion is that blood and skin prick tests are not as reliable as the oral food challenges. We, we didn't think that before. Yeah, okay, so you talk about these oral tests, it's like okay take a peanut and see if you have, you know, if you have a negative reaction. I assume this isn't something everyone should be doing on their own all the That's time. That's a great question, yes. And oral food challenges, for example, if you eat tiny little, little bits of tree nuts in a okay. controlled medical setting, you should not, please do not do this yeah. on, your, uh, on your own at home. Home. Tree nut allergies are in the top eight foods that cause 90% of serious allergic reactions for Americans. So if you have a tree nut allergy, here are my prescriptions. Number one, visit your allergist and ask about oral food testing. This should be only done in a supervised uh, setting by trained board certified allergists in case a severe life-threatening reaction occurs. Also watch for tree nut oils in lotion, soaps, and hair products. Mm. Be sure to read careful uh, labels carefully. Also be prepared for an allergic reaction. Always carry emergency emergency medications at all times, Joanne. And also you can develop food allergies at any age if you experience trouble breathing, stomach pain, diarrhea, vomiting, itchy mouth, throat, or eyes please seek medical care immediately. My kids don't have these allergies and neither do I, but it's alarming to me about lotions and things like that. I never exactly. thought about that. Something that. people have to be concerned about. Um, talk about a little bit about confusion with peanuts in tree nuts. Exactly, tree everybody nut? asks me that. So, so there's always confusion about peanuts because the word nut is in the right. word peanut, right? The nuts, this tree nuts refer to eight nuts. My favorite, almonds, cashews, pecans, pistachios, walnuts, uh, hazelnuts, mm. Brazil nuts, and macadamia nuts. Peanuts are not on this list because they're legumes. They're grown underground and not, not on a tree. Also, it's important to know that peanut and tree nut allergies are the most common causes of anaphylaxis, which can be life-threatening yeah. in the United States. You can't mess around with this very serious stuff. Dr. Yeah, but Nitty. it's an interesting update that now you may, you may need more than just uh, skin prick tests. Absolutely. Yeah, Dr. Exactly. Nandy, thank you so much. All of right, course. Glenda, over to you.